from Arkansas. Thank you, Mr. President. Again, I also want to take and pause. It seems like for the last several weeks, on a very regular basis, with storms ravaging the country, uh, different events happening that uh, we've been pausing, and certainly uh, uh, this is this tragedy has struck Arkansas. So we would like uh, for our colleagues to keep the thoughts and prayers of those in western Arkansas that have suffered this. Uh, as the senator from Arkansas said, six people lost their lives due to a terrible storm that uh, created uh, significant flooding in western Arkansas late last week. Scott County Sheriff uh, Cody Carpenter, Wildlife Officer Joel Campora were two dedicated public servants that were among them. They gave their lives while responding to a 9-11 call, 911, at a uh, home in Y City. The two arrived at the home as they arrived at, uh, to help uh, two females that were there. House exploded, killing all four of them. Additionally, a Grant County man uh, was killed when a tree fell on him as a result of the storm. These were people that uh, uh, truly were true heroes, not because of the way they died, but because of the way that they lived their lives. Uh, Sheriff Carpenter was a leader who was never content to sit behind a desk. He bravely put safety of others before his own to protect those in harm's way. He rose from a dispatcher to deputy, chief deputy, and then finally sheriff. He was a man of faith who loved life, loved his family, and loved his job and the Lord. Officer Campora began his law enforcement career in Mena, Arkansas. In 2007, he became a wildlife officer for the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. His desire to serve led him down this career path but it also led him to serve as a volunteer youth minister for the Salem Baptist Church and Pencils Bluff First Baptist Church. Again, uh, these were ordinary people uh, doing, doing extraordinary deeds. Uh, Sheriff Carpenter left behind a wife, Amy, Beth, and four children, Garen, Christian, Douglas, and Ireland. Officer Campor left behind a wife, Rebecca, and two daughters, Dacey and Bethany. Uh, again, we very much would like uh, uh, everyone to remember these families uh, and keep them in their thoughts and their prayers as, as time goes on. I yield back.